What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Subnautica. We're doing the things, doing the stuff, and today we are building something a little bit bigger than the sea moth. That's right, we're building the Cyclops today, our first and our base. It's gonna be our main base. This is what we agreed upon. Main base is the Cyclops, outpost is a base place, okay? Cool. All right. Now, um, also, I want to say something. This guy, if you, if for, if you've ever played Subnautica in VR, I might actually play. I might actually do a couple episodes in VR. I think I did a couple episodes in VR. But if you want to see some episodes in VR, this sea moth right here is a massive. <laughs> Just keep in mind. Like, do you see the seat? It's huge. It's a, this thing is actually quite large. Um, because I played it in <laughs> I played it in VR and I was like, oh my gosh. I got in it and I was like, this thing is huge. It's real me. Anyways, all right. We are gonna build ourselves a fantastic new submersible apparatus device McDealier called the Cyclops. So we need three plat ceiling kit, three enamel glass, a lubricant, advanced wiring kit, and three lead. Let's see what we have. I'm gonna try to get everything in my inventory. So, um, okay, so we've got a, we've got that. So we have the stuff for the plat ceiling kit, well, minus the titanium, we, we can get that easy peasy. Not even an issue. Uh, we're going to need, uh, let's see. Okay, so we need the plasteel ingot. We need titanium. Let's go grab titanium to start with. Let's get that done first. And then we're gonna go through, and I'm pretty sure I picked up some stalker teeth somewhere. I just don't remember where I put them. I think I put them in one of the uh, the wall lockers. So that's fine. We'll go figure that out. But um, I don't, I think I only grabbed two. So if I could find a third stalker tooth. Oh my gosh. There's one, there's one. Okay, so I got two more. All right, we got some more uh, some more titanium there. And let's see, we don't need much more, do we? Is it, is four titanium what's needed for a titanium ingot? I'm almost positive it is. I think so. So that would be three titanium ingots, which would also be three lithium, which would be three plasteel ingots. That would be good. And then we need glass. So I'm going to need some quartz. Out, guys don't blow up on yourselves Ooh, oh that one got me <laughs> uh, anyways thank you all so much for the continued support i really do appreciate it hopefully you're all having a wonderful day i'm having a fantastic day and if you are having a wonderful day maybe leave a like on the video subscribe if you haven't already and uh, oh i dodged that one. Ooh, there's another one okay hold on i'm kind of stuck in here <laughs> i didn't know where it was oh gosh um but yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I really do appreciate it. Also, if you are interested, um, like I said, we are starting to stream over on twitch.tv slash gaming again. So if you want to head over there and get some live stream action, you are more than welcome. You are absolutely... Oh, my inventory is full. Darn it. Okay, hold on. Where is this at? I need to remember where that's at. Okay, so that fish. We're going to remember that fish. That bladder fish is right over this hole, okay? Now, that bladder fish shouldn't go anywhere. It shouldn't swim away. <laughs> it should be just fine. Oh, we're never fighting to get, are we? Oh, titanium ingots are 10. Ha <laughs> I was so far off. Oh my gosh. Wait, are titanium ingots in below zero? F only four? I feel like they are. <gasps> oh no, plastic ingots are two lithium. Oh no, okay, we're gonna have to go get some more lithium. Oh dear. Okay, so we have some glass. Now I just need some enameled glass. I might actually have some more glass in my, um, some more stuff in here. Let's see here. So, okay, so there's another glass. And then I also know we need a wiring kit, but then we also need a computer chip. Oh, we need so we need so much more stuffs. All right, what are we looking like? We got uh, a plastic ingot. We've got two enameled glass. Okay, so you know what? Let's get the uh, let's get the rest of that enameled glass. All right, let's see. Hold on. There's these. Okay, so where's that fish? Where was that bladder fish? Okay, you're right there. There's the bladder fish. There he is. He stayed right where he was supposed to. Good job, bladder fish. I am proud of you. You made my life easier. All right. Um, you know what? I don't need that much quartz, so that's probably enough. We're probably good there. Okay. So we'll grab this. We'll make this into enamel glass. Then we got to go back down. We got to get some more lithium. And then, wait, hold on. Lithium. Oh, the mushroom forest. We need to go to the mushroom forest to get lithium there. This is not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go in here. <laughs> wait, how many How many uh, enamel glass was it? Was it three? Okay, cool. So I got two. Did I only get two stalker teeth? I only grabbed two stalker teeth. I know I have more stalker teeth. There's another stalker tooth. Oh, there's two more lithium. <gasps> Winning. Yay. Okay, what about in here? No lithium. What about in here? Uh, there's the three lead that we need. Okay, hold on. Let's check this guy. 
Oh, is there one? Oh, I just need a singular piece of lithium. I would be good. Of course there's not. <laughs> one piece of lithium? No, 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 no. You cannot have that. Okay, so there's our three enameled glass. And then I need more titanium. We have the lead. I have a lot of extra stuff in my inventory. This is not going to work out for us. Uh, let's just go ahead and get... Let's just make another thing of glass just so it's kind of out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and throw this. Let's see. Uh, glass, I don't need you right now. I guess I don't need this titanium right this second. Um, this dead battery, probably not. This rotten marble mel melon, that thing, probably not. Okay. Uh, oh, the diamond. We don't need the diamond either. Okay, so there's that. So now we need to go get some plasteel. Uh, what do we need for the... I always forget what we need for the, the um, advanced wiring kit. I know it's... What? Is it a chip? It's a wiring kit. Where's the advanced wiring kit? It's up in here, isn't it? doesn't just tell us what we need. Wait a second. It doesn't tell us what we need. Um, well, let's go ahead and make this first. Table coral, gold, and copper wire. Yeah, let's do that. Gold, copper wire. I think maybe we need to make the chip first, and then we'll get the... Uh, because I'm pretty sure the advanced wiring kit takes a chip, if I'm not mistaken. So we've got gold, table... Or gold, copper wire, table coral. Where are you at, you table coral? Ha ha ha, here we go. Oh, where's my knife? My knife has gone missing. There we go. Oh, <gasps> they changed it. Did they change this? I'm almost like 90% positive that originally in Subnautica, when you table, when you knife the table coral, it broke into smaller pieces and you could get like three pieces of table coral from one table coral. Because I remember in Below Zero, that when you went down deep and you had to get table coral, you only got one. And I specifically made the point of, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we only get one from these now instead of three. They changed that, oh my gosh. I know they did. They're sneaky like that. Okay, so we're gonna make that, and then this should allow us to make the computer chip, and then the computer chip should unlock the ability to make the advanced wiring kit, which is a wiring kit and two gold, which is gold, gold, and where's the wiring kit? I already have the wiring kit, so that is done, skis. Now, now that we have that, okay, so we're looking good. Oh, yes. We're getting all the things done today. This feels good. Well, we haven't really gotten anything done. Um, lubricant and another, some plastic ligands. Okay. Let's pop on over to the area that we need to go to. And uh, let's go get some more, uh, let's go get some more lithium. We're heading towards, like, the front of the Aurora, uh, back to the mushroom area because it's just laying on the ground there. I see a lot of mushroom plants. We must be in the mushroom. Hey, look at there's a uh, there's a thing, uh, a hole, if you will. If you need a, if you need another hole fragment, there's another hole fragment. Okay, we're looking for lithium. Usually, lithium can be found on the hills of the mushroom forest. Seems like I always find it over here too, just laying there. Wow, there's like pieces of this stuff everywhere. Look at that. There's salt everywhere too. Man, we're gonna have to come through here and just like do a har mass harvest session one of these times. Uh, but right now, I am focused on the lithium. Right there. There is the piece. I like the piece. Maybe I should just go ahead and uh, take the... Let's just take this around. I might be able to find... Stay there, Seamoth. Don't go nowhere. We need to name the Seamoth. Uh, oh, we can't name the Seamoth. Well, we might be able to name the Seamoth once we get the uh, the Cyclops. So leave a comment. Let me give, give me some names. Give me some name suggestions that we have for the for the, the Seamoth there. <gasps> oh! Is this? Ooh! Oh, we're way closer to this area than I thought we were. Uh, okay, we're going in this. We're going in this cave. Uh, I think, right? No, this isn't where I thought we were. Is this where I thought we were? No, this isn't where we thought I thought we were. Okay, never mind. Um, slightly terrifying. Yeah, we're getting into the uh, the electric eel here. <laughs> I don't want to die. I found two lithium so far. I'm actually not. I'm not doing too hot here. Like, uh, maybe. Where is my? Okay, my sea moth is over there. Let's see if we can. Well, there's got to be. I probably missed some, and I'm just like, there's a there's a sea moth. There's a whole bunch of lithium right here. Okay, you know what? Let's get in the sea moth. Let's get some oxygen. We'll just take the sea moth around. I think I need. Uh, what do we decide? How much do I have? I've got one, two. Oh, I have enough for three more. Oh, we just need titanium. Let's get out of here. We just need titanium. What are you even doing? Playing around, getting more lithium that we don't need. What is this? Uh, you know what? Hold on. We gotta scan this. This isn't the, uh, is this a mobile vehicle bay? Oh, we already have that, but that's fine. We'll scan it. I need titanium anyways. You know what? Actually, hold on a second. You know what? The other, I think the other mushroom area has the, the, the modular, 
upgrade. What are the, there's an upgrade state. There's another upgrade station, but I think it's in the other mushroom forest. I don't think it's in this one because I didn't see any pieces of it laying anywhere. Hmm. I could be wrong though. We need to explore all of these wrecks too. Okay. Safely back at home. Let's just go grab some more tight. How much more room do I have? I have enough for one, two more things of titanium. And then we need to see if we can go ahead and turn it into ingots. Give me that. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. This song is such an absolute jam. I absolutely love this song. This is the, the Subnautica song, you know, so good. All right. I think we're good. I think we got it. So, uh, one plastic, two plastic ingot. Hold on. Wait a second. No, we don't have everything we need. Well, I don't need these. I need these three. I need lubricant. I need the lead. I need this, but I need, where is, where did I put my other plastic lingot in? I, put it, I must've put it in one of these guys, right? Where did I put it? Did I not make, oh, you know what? I only, I only made one. I need another one. What am I even doing? I made one plastic lingot before, and then I just made one more. I need, I still need one more uno mas plastic ingot, you know? Let's see, that is going to be eight, nine. That's not enough we need. We need another thing of scrap. All right, I think that was it. Was that the final thing? And yes, it is. Okay, so <laughs> now question is, do we have enough room? To, I feel like this site. I feel like it should fit in here. Will it fit in this area? Oh my gosh. That guy's still hanging out there. You know what's funny is that reef back right there. That's not the reef back that has the other ones on it, is it? Hold on a second. Hold on. Just, just one. Is this isn't the reef that we, we oh my God, it is. Oh my gosh, it is. It absolutely is. This is the other one that we stuck all the things to. It eventually made it to the surface. It's up here. Oh my, wait a second. You probably can't. You can't build a base on the back of this, can you? <gasps> could you imagine if we could build a base and it was actually like a moving? No, because it, it won't even move me with it, let alone an actual structure. <laughs> it actually works. <laughs> Oh gosh, we actually lifted it up. That's so funny. That poor guy is just fighting it. He's like, I can't go underwater for nothing. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. I didn't think it'd work. It absolutely did though. Look at that, it's back and sticking out of the water. Oh, maybe we should rescue that guy and go put more on that. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, enough of that. Enough of that, let's build a Cyclops, shall we? <gasps> oh, how dare you? How do I pack up? I need to pack up. Where's the pack up button? Pack up, okay. All right, so let's go, let's grab our sea moth. I feel like this is pretty deep water. It must be, we must have to get off the shelf right here. My poor sea moth is taking such a beating. The stupid fish, they do, they do so much damage. They're like underwater little missiles. All right, let's try right here. See if this works. All right, here we go, let's go. Round two. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. You know, it's it's always magnificent. Every single time. It is such a good looking, it's such a good looking thing. Oh, I love it. This is home. Oh, <gasps> yeah, we've done it. Awesome. Okay, all right. So first things first, where's my Seamoth? What are you doing all the way down here? We are gonna park you right under yonder. Oh my gosh, I love this thing so much. Okay, <laughs> I already did damage to it. <laughs> Oh, it feels so good. Okay, so hold on. We've got, we've got this. Can I rename it? No, I can't. Hmm. So I believe, I do believe that when I played modded, I think there is a mod where you can put a vehicle base station or vehicle uh, upgrade console in here. I believe if I, if I remember correctly. So, oh my gosh, this feels amazing. Oh, we're in the Cyclops. Okay, so, um, oh, hold on a second. Everything needs to be changed here. It needs to be dark. Red stripe, uh, hold on. Saturation, all the way red. Stripe two, all the way red. Name, I don't know, something. We're just gonna hit done. Okay, so let's go look at, oh my gosh, we gotta go see what it looks like now. Oh, it's gonna look so beautiful. All right, how's it look? Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. It's such a good looking Cyclops. I mean, you just you just can't argue with beauty like that. You know, you really can't. Okay. Well, now that we have this, um, there are a couple things. So I am going to try, uh, I'm gonna try to do my crafting in here for now. Actually, let's go ahead and just pull this over there and get as close as we can. I'm gonna still try to do my crafting in the, uh, in the other thing for now until we leave the area. And the reason for that is because 
I don't want to have to craft power cells for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do oh wait, that's right. I have to hit a button now, huh? Okay, are we good? Oh, I love this thing so much. Oh, I love this thing so much. I'm so happy we got it again. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna pull over here because um, I want to do some more crafting using this guy just because it's free power right now, and we need to get the uh, we need to get the habitat builder made. All right, perfect. Power that bad boy off. Okay, so um, let's see. Who's hitting me? Who dare be doing that? It's, it's the stupid. It's it's one of these guys, isn't it? What? I thought it was that guy. Is there one little fish somewhere? Like, what's going on here? Oh, it's the bubbles! It's the bubbles from the plant. Hold on, we gotta we gotta back it up. <laughs> I don't want no bubbles to do damage to this. Thing. I don't think the bubbles are gonna hurt it. No, but it's gonna be annoying if we if we don't. I can't move it. Oh, stupid engine. Okay, we're good now. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny, the bubbles are making so much noise. Okay, so we need to look at what we need for a habitat builder because we need to get some habitat things built in here. Yeah, I know, you always want me to eat, that's fine. Um, yeah, we need to go ahead and see what, oh, wow. I think it's hard to see at night. <laughs> that's fine. That's the whole point, right? To be, uh, to be, to not be seen. All right, so what we need is a habitat building device. I need a computer chip, a wiring kit, and a battery. And then we can get some things built in our fancy new base. So computer chip, wiring kit, battery. Um, hmm. Ooh, wiring kit. Uh, computer chip is, I need more gold and I need copper. Well darn. Oh, we have gold here. So I think I need, I need two gold for, wait, do I need one gold? I think I need one gold. I think I only need one gold. I think I need this. I need one gold, two copper so I can get the copper wire and then table coral. Uh, so copper, uh, copper, 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 copper. Let's try to grab that, which should be in any of these guys. Like there's one. If we can get another one right off the bat, that would be winning. Okay, right here. What do we got? Copper? Darn it, we lost. <laughs> Game's over. That's it. We're done. Um, I need my knife back. Hey, look at that. We got a copper. <laughs> yeah. And I already have a bunch of batteries. So actually, we'll go ahead and grab a dead battery and utilize that because then it'll be magically fully charged. It's wonderful. It's a it's a great little thing. <gasps> look at that beautiful Cyclops. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so let's see. Um, power cell, dead battery. Perfect. That should be everything we need, I think. So wiring kit, copper wire, computer chip. Dead battery means habitat builder. Yeah, all right. Fantastic. Uh, we need to go ahead and grab that. Let's see, let's go ahead and do I have any more titanium in anything over here? Actually need to grab a thing of food as well. Okay, there's a titanium. Oh, actually, you know what? We're gonna need these as well, but we'll go ahead and get uh, other stuff set up first. Oh, hey, get over here. And okay, so let's see, I think that's I really needed some food. Do we have any food? I don't have any food yet. Okay, hold on. Let's just, let's pop over here. I should have, I have some food bricks somewhere. Oh, you know what? They're in the Seamoth. They are in the inventory of the Seamoth, which means I can, well, I might be able to access them. Uh, eh. No, I won't. <laughs> I cannot access them. Oh, Cyclops upgrade module. Oh, the Cyclops upgrade stuff's right there. Okay. Well, that's super handy. Um, all right. So let's grab, hold on. Let's grab our new habitat builder tool. And let's get, there's a few few key things that we absolutely need. We definitely need, where is the interior grow bed? What in the heck? What is that? I've never seen that before. Okay, we're gonna put one here and then we're gonna start planting stuff. That is so weird. I've never seen, I've never seen this before. I have no idea why it's even doing that, like why? All right, so planter, let's go ahead and get a switch container. That's gonna start growing. Okay, I gotta get the sea moth. <laughs> I need my food. No, I need I need my food. I need my food. Don't get in it. Uh, storage, please. There should be yes, snacks. All right, we got snacks. Perfect. Okay, now that we have uh, so we got a we got that built. Let's go and grab the other stuff and get those going. <gasps> yeah, we're gonna have food. It's gonna be so nice. So basically, marble melon is the way of the future. Um, it's just the best food that you can get because it gives you food and water. You just plant a whole bunch of them and you're all happy. Everything's good to go, you know? It's just a wonderful time. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and plant another indoor grow bed and it's gonna go right here. Oh my gosh, that is so weird. Okay, 
two grow beds right here. That's all we're going to need as far as those go. And then we should be able to go into here and go ahead and switch container. Switch container, boom. So we have all of those. So we have some lantern fruit, some of those. But honestly, the... Um, oh, what am I even doing? This seems to be cut. There we go. Now we can plant it. I don't even, I was, don't even know what I was doing there. But I'm pretty sure these are growing now. Yeah, those are growing. Those are growing. Okay, cool. The marble melon was the only one that you had to slice and dice. All right, so that's going to give us food and water. We'll get those going. And then... Hmm... See, there's the modification station. We're gonna need that. We're also gonna need a bunch of storage. And it would be nice. So we're also gonna need a fabricator. We're gonna need all this stuff. We're gonna have a whole we're gonna have a whole bunch of stuff that we have to get going. Hey, look at it. It's Jack's septic eye tank. That's so cute. Uh bioreactor. We can't build that on here. We can't do uh solar panels. You know, funny thing is you used to be able to put solar panels on here. Uh I don't think that's a thing anymore, though. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure they got rid of that. So we played this in early access, which is crazy because Subnautica came out all very low. Did we play this in early? We had to have. We had to have played this in early access. Um, but you used to be able to put uh, solar panels on the <laughs> on the Cyclops. So, yeah, you did. Oh, you know what? We have an upgrade. We have a upgrade for an engine efficiency module. Let's go ahead and grab that bad boy and put that in before we forget that as well. That might have been in the Seamoth. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't seen it lately. Oh, there's another marble melon. We need to grab that because that is going to uh, give us more, more of the melons. Okay, so it must be, it's probably in the sea moth. Let's go ahead and hit this button again. Play another message. Are they? Good. Oh, darn it, we need a drink. All right, so let's see here. What did we grab? We grabbed another one of those and let me, let me throw this in here. Hold on, because we can't, um, we need to switch the container and then we need to go into this and then we need to slice. Slicing these is always interesting. Okay, and then we need to go ahead and switch container for those. There's that. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and hang up a poster, shall we? Why not? Put it right um, here. Yes. Why won't you place? What? Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's good. I need water. <laughs> I need water right now. Let's go grab some water. And then I think, uh, let's see. What else do we need? Oh, you know what? You are bottled water. Thank you. You're going to save my life. There we go. Mm, delicious fish water. So good. Okay. Um. The where was the upgrade module at? All right. Oh, it's on the it's on the sea moth. That's what I was doing. I was like, where did that thing go? It is right there. Perfect. And do we need more of these posters. Absolutely. Okay. So let's go throw the engine efficiency module in, which is on the other side. Uh. Ta da! Engine efficiency now 300%. Fantastic. And we always need more posters. Let's get some posters in here. Yes. <gasps> oh, keep calm. Oh, prawn suit, Mark three. Prawn suit, Mark three. Different prawn suit though, but same thing. And then here's another one that is another prawn suit. Um, can we throw this one back here somewhere maybe? Oh, beautiful, yeah, there. All the advertisements for the things and the stuff everywhere. It's so good. It just looks so good, okay. So now what we need is, we need a few things we need before we can like really set off. I really wish I could figure out where the, um, I might actually do a little bit of research to see if we can figure out where the upgrade for the thermal reactor is because I'm pretty sure we can make that in here, right? Cyclops shield generator, Cyclops engine efficiency module. Oh, see that requires benzene and polyaniline, which is, uh, that's lost river stuff. And then Aerojet Lost River stuff. That's Ruby, right? Yeah, Ruby. And then um, Deep Shrooms and Cyclops. We don't know that. Cyclops Death Module Mark One. We don't know that either. What is our current depth with this thing? Are we able to go to a thousand? Five hundred. Okay, so we can go to five hundred meters with this bad boy. Not terrible. That's further than the uh, the Sea Moth. <laughs> so not bad at all. Um, I guess, are we, let's see, we only need a, a couple more things and then we're like, we're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna go grab some salt, uh, so we can go make some more bleach, so we can get some more water. I'm gonna grab a few of them, to make a few of them, so we can grab some, a few water, and then I also need some more titanium, and I also need some quartz, because I'd like to build some, uh, some storages up top. Now, we do have the downstairs storage, which is, there's nothing wrong with that, uh, it's just, it's nice to have some storage up top, too, where it's, like, easily accessible. Especially for, uh, well, there goes the, there goes that. But especially for things that we're going to use a lot, like food and water and stuff like that, probably would be a good idea to have some of it. Uh, but I'm looking for salt first. And then we'll find some other stuff. You know what? I'm going to grab this titanium as well. 
And then uh, we also need to build a fabricator on the uh, Cyclops and probably a radio and probably like, we got, we got a whole bunch of things that we need to build on that Cyclops. Oh, finally. Okay, so some delicious water. And then I'm going to go ahead and make the rest that I can. Actually, I'm probably just going to go ahead and make it into, well, I'm probably just going to make it into water now. Might as well. Yeah, look at all that water. Oh, it feels so good. Okay, so we got some titanium. Oh, you know what? I dropped some titanium on the ground here. <laughs> uh, let's see. I have four inventory spaces. That's actually perfect. Drop that. We'll go ahead and turn this into, tit to, into titanium. And then we're going to build some storages inside the Cyclops up top. So we have all these storages here. I mean, there's there's quite a bit of storage here. So we'll utilize these. Uh, but those are going to be for things that we don't necessarily like need all the time. Uh, but one thing I do want to go ahead and build is we need to just get some storage up here. Now, we're going to utilize storage everywhere, but I'm going to go ahead and just start it right here. There's that one, and I'm going to go ahead and get another one just right in front of it, I guess. These aren't going to look super great, but you know what? They're there, and that's what matters. Because now I can go ahead and I can throw a whole bunch of water in here. We can throw basically everything in here and get everything moved over. Yeah, this is nice. Oh my gosh, these storages are so nice. I forgot how nice these storages are. <laughs> oh, okay. So what did we need for, um, let's see. We have the Cyclops decoy tube. I don't need that. We, have, well, we need aerogel for that anyway. Scanner room, we have another thing. Where is, okay, so fabricator is titanium gold and table coral sample. That's not bad. Um, radio is titanium and copper. That's not bad. Um, yeah, medical kit fabricator. Do I need that? Wall locker. Wall lockers are pretty handy too. Maybe we'll throw some of those in here. Battery charger? We definitely need a battery charger. Now, I don't want to put a battery charger in here. I don't want to throw one in here until we have the thermal reactor. Once we have a thermal reactor and we can sit above thermal vents and recharge ourselves, then we'll throw the battery charger in here. And actually, at that point, this thing will become basically our only base, except for the need for moon pool fragment up for like moon pool upgrades. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be fantastic. So, but we need fabricator we need a uh so let's see let's try to get those let's just try to get everything done so that way we're about pretty much like ready to go so fabrication titanium gold coral titanium copper let's go ahead and let's pop out and let's see what we can find so i need some co <laughs> i'm always needing copper oh my gosh okay so i need some copper let's see if we can find a th uh, thing of copper we're also gonna grab um a table coral because we're gonna need that but just a thing of copper is all we need. And then we can build the fabricator. We can build the radio. Okay, so there's that. Um, now, was the radio also copper? Co oh, gold for that and copper for the other one. Okay, so we're actually good. So we can build both the radio and the uh, the other thing. You know what? So I, I just always wondered about this game. Like, we're getting these radio signals, right, from these people, these life pods. Like, they crashed at the same time we did, and they're already gone. Like, they're already, like, you know, passed away and dead. Here we are making a giant submersibles and, like, doing fantastic. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, did we just get lucky or, like, what happened? <laughs> uh, okay. So let's get a, you know what? We're probably, well, you know what? We do use this room quite a bit. I'm just trying to decide if I want to put, do I want to put a fabricator behind the door? Hmm, probably not. Let's put it over here on this. Well, actually, you know what? Can we throw it on this wall? Let's throw it on this wall right here. And then let's throw the radio next to it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's looking mighty fine. You know what? Let's throw... Ooh, we could throw a lot of floor lockers in here, though. Can I throw a wall locker? We could throw a wall locker in here. We might actually be able to fit two. We'll throw one right there, and then we might be able to fit two. Where This is not... You know, oh, my gosh. Oh, I don't have titanium. Okay. This is not going to be the most prettiest thing. It's going to be the most functional thing. We're going to try to make things functionable over anything else because that is kind of the name of the game here. Try to get as much storage in here as possible. Okay, so there's those. There's those. That all looks good. That storage is almost full. We're looking good. We're like, we're, this is this is coming along very nice. I would like to get a bed in here, though. Um, is it necessary? Probably not. But, I mean, it could be fun. But you know what? We could do that later. So... All right, I think we're good. I think we made great strides on this. Uh, oh, you know what? Are these are these ready to go? Okay, hold on. Let's go ahead and let's get. Come on, come on, come on. Really? All right, we gotta get we gotta get these planted. We gotta make sure that we have all of them planted. That's the only thing with these. It's like it's kind of a pain to plant them. <laughs> all right, perfect. And then you know what? Let's go ahead and pick up these. Then plant that one. And then let's see. We've got what one more. 
Come on. Come on. Come on! Why would you cut? You know what? That's fine. And check this out. Mm. We can eat this. An alien at- why, 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 why won't you let me eat it? Consume. There we go. <laughs> it wasn't like, like, wasn't letting me consume it. Oh, delicious. You know, we don't have a crawl or anything. Like, I can't- I can't, I can't get these. <gasps> oh, you hate me so much, Gabe. Those two are forever not gonna be harvestable. But that's fine. Alright, so we've got those, and then guess what? We also have uh, some lantern stuff over here. We have some potatoes coming in over here. We've got food. We're looking good. We don't have to really worry about that anymore. We don't even have to worry about water because these things provide so much water on them. And if you just have a lot of them, oh man, it would it would be terrible. I'm not gonna lie, it would be terrible to eat nothing but melons, especially like in a place like this. Cause like, I don't know if you've noticed this, but there's no bathrooms here. And you can only imagine how that comes out. Like if that's all you're eating, like that's baby food consistency. I don't know, I've had three kids. I see what comes out when they're eating baby food. It doesn't look fun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, that is gonna end. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the fun things. We will be back with some more, but this is our new base place uh, for the most part. I think I think we're about good. Like I said, uh, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of research, see if I can find, I, I gotta figure out where the um, the thermal reactor for this is. We gotta get that. That's gonna, that is like super key for our, our survival, because if once we find that and get that bad boy on here, now, do we possibly need the upgrade thing? I don't think so, I think we can build it from here. I think we can build the upgrade thing from here for the, the thermal reactor, so as long as we can get that, that's super key, because then we can just park over thermal vents, everything will recharge, we can actually uh, recharge the, um, the, the Seamoth, and actually, you know what, in all honesty, I hate to say it, but the Seamoth, Seamoth ain't gonna be around much longer. Um, I it's almost it's probably about prawn suit time to be honest. Like the Seamoth kind of gets dropped off once once we have the Cyclops. The Seamoth is kind of useless. Like it's nice for like you know um, some stuff, but ah, there's a reason they only made one bay in this and not two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They could have made a two bay. They really could have. They could have. They could have made another bay. Like right back in here, they could have done it. I, I think they could have, or they could have made it like the um, the sea truck in Subnautica Below Zero, where the uh, the prawn suit actually hooks in from the outside. That would be cool. That would actually be really cool, or it hooks on the bottom or something like that, you know, and just like grabs it and holds on for the bottom. I don't know. I think it'd be cool. But yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. I will see you in the next episode. Bye, everybody.